growing up in Darwin was pretty much normal you know I had all my friends and and a big big family so you know um, there wasn't anything strict in the family it was it was a yeah pretty cool upbringing I must say you know swimming in the water holes um, playing at the beach and uh, singing in church so yeah so you um, sang at the local church with your grandmother is that right yeah that, that's pretty much correct um, uh, my family and all my sisters grew up in an Indonesian missionary church so um, our second language pretty much at home was Indonesian and uh, yeah um, love love the culture but um, I guess gr growing up in an indigenous community um, I guess I, I've, I, I definitely um, I, I grew a, a lot more close with the, the Aboriginal community. For me it, it's, a, it's been a long journey to finding who I am and it's, a, it's nice to you know to kind of follow that through and, and um, you know continue to find finding my family. Are you the only musician in your family? We all grew up singing and you know, all my sisters would sing together, you know, do the whole hairbrush thing and, and um, fight over who was going to be the lead singer. What would you tell little girls who want to be like you when they grow up? You know, to always listen to your heart, you know, and I, I actually, I should say thank you to that 12 year old little girl who had a dream and went for it and you know, I, I thank her every day actually because I think without her determination and her passion I wouldn't be right here and, and doing all these wonderful things and I, I tell young kids that um, you know to never give up on a dream you know you always look for something and you love something so bad um, you must fight for it you must work hard for it it is all about working and then um, committing to something that you love